Hey, Zoo, talk about your role um, coming off the bench and then what that requires, how that changed your mindset, if, if at all. Uh, tonight you had 12 big rebounds. Um, it really helped out the team on the defensive, uh, on the defensive boards. Elaborate on that. I mean, that should be me every night. Uh, that's one of my that's my one of my uh, roles is uh, rebounding uh, rebounding uh, rebounding the ball and not giving up offensive boards. And uh, I feel like I can I can be one of the best in the league at that. I just got to be uh, I just got to bring energy. Got to box out on every possession. And I I feel like I didn't do a great job with it to start the season, but. Uh, Think I'm getting better at it, and uh, you know I'll, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to help the team uh, on the boards every night. Thank you, over Claudia. Hey Sue, congratulations for the okay. win tonight. Um, besides the great job that you did tonight, uh, what what did it change in those last minutes of the second quarter, going into the third, that got the team going on a roll? Uh, we just, we just, uh, we came out of, out of the halftime uh, ready, ready to play. We, we, we knew we get, we gave up a lot of points in a in a first half, and uh, we knew we had to step up defensively to win the game. And uh, guys came out ready in the second half, and we we did it on defensive end. Thanks, Claudia. We'll go over to Andrew Greif. Joseph Ryan Ward. Oh, hello. This is Andrew. Um, so, um, you guys hearing that? Yeah, I'm hearing a recording. It sounds like. Ah, uh, sorry, Zoo. Um, I was just wondering, you know, when when you were you surprised um, in the offseason, knowing even though certain knowing Serge was going to come in, when Ty had asked you to change your role, did that catch you off guard? And how did you kind of make that adjustment in the first weeks? Like, did you talk to vets who had made a certain move? How did you try to be your best in that role? No, I mean, uh, I'm here to do whatever I'm asked to do. And uh, when Tyler uh, told me I'm going to be coming off the bench, uh, I took that as a challenge. And, uh, you know, where, wherever wherever they need me, I'm, I'm whatever they need me to do, I'm a help. And, uh, you know, just took it took it as a challenge. And uh, that's that's all it is. I had. That's yeah. That's it. Took it as a challenge, and uh, I'm here to do whatever they need me to do. Kawhi just said that he feels like, as well as you guys have been playing, there's a set, there's a, a not being satisfied mentality uh, about getting better. Where, where, for as well as you guys have been playing, where do you feel like this team needs to get better in the next uh, next quarter of the season or so? I feel like uh, we can get better at finishing games. Uh, we, you know, when we when we get a big lead, we we just got to keep pushing, and uh, that's that's one of the areas of the improvement. And I feel like we can be better in uh, transition defense, just uh, communicating, uh, matching up better. And uh, I think I think if we if we get better at those two things, we can we can get on a, another level. Thanks, Zoo. Thanks, thanks, Andrew. We'll go over to Farbad. Hey, Zoo. Uh, congrats on the win. Thank you. you. You had mentioned post game that tonight was the first time you felt like yourself and how you should be playing. Uh, yeah. What What was the trigger for you? Was it when you got a big block? Like, what was the thing that got you going where you felt like, oh, I'm playing like me again? Uh, just every possession when I started, you know, gra grabbing a couple of uh, offensive boards, uh, grabbing some defensive boards, getting a block, getting a dunk, and uh, just getting stops. Uh, that's what fuels me getting stops, and uh, you no, know, felt really good to start the game, and uh, I kept that in. Uh, I kept that rhythm in the second half, and like I said, I finally felt like myself. Finally, rebounded the ball like I can, helped the team on, on the boards uh, in the paint, protecting the rim, and yeah, that should be me every night. Great, we'll go to Tomer. Hey, Zoo, congrats on the win. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but you guys are shooting as a team 44% uh, from three in the first month. That uh, would be an NBA record. Uh, my first question to you is, when are you going to jump in on that? And uh, what's been the key to, um, you know, that three-point percentage and to make it sustainable throughout the year? Uh, I've been working on my three, but uh, 
whenever <laughs> whenever they need me, man, I'm uh, I'm gonna keep working. But uh, <laughs> I don't. I, I just wanna I, I wanna stay in my role. I, I wanna try try to help the team in, in the ways I, I can I can do best. And uh, you know, whenever it happens, it happens. I'm not I'm not I'm not thinking about it. I'm not. I'm just out there playing, trying to help. And uh, the key to it is just moving the ball. Everyone's moving the ball. Uh, we're sharing, ma making next pass, and uh, we trust each other. And uh, we get a lot of open threes. And uh, we got we got some good shooters on our team, and uh, they're shooting with confidence. And it's going in. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, we'll go to Justin Russo. Hey, Zoo! Congrats on the victory tonight. Thanks. You and Serge have looked great as short roll passers this season. How do you feel, at least on a comfort level, with making those reads? And how far do you think you've come with that in your career? Uh, we 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 uh, we know we know where they're gonna. A lot of teams are gonna blitz Kawhi and PG, and uh, we we've been working on it almost almost every practice. Uh, bigs, we we've been short rolling and made, trying to make those passes, trying to make those reads, and. Where I feel I feel much more comfortable now than uh, at the beginning of the season, just because we work on it all the time. And uh, yeah, I feel I feel super confident. I, confident. I, I feel like uh, I can make the right read. I can make that pass. And uh, if they don't step up, I can take it to the to the rim. Thanks, Justin. We got one last question. Uh, time for for Miriam. Hey, Zoe, Congrats on the win. Um, I have a Kobe question for you. I mean, obviously, growing up in, in Croatia, you were a big fan of his. Um, but I wonder, looking around the league now, like in what ways do you see his influence and his impact lasting? I mean, from, from shoes to moves to inspiration, like what do you see? Uh, a lot of places, uh, you know, every time you step on a court, like half of the guys wear his shoes. And uh, uh, I feel like younger players, uh, in this league, he was he was inspiration to everyone, uh, including me. And uh, a lot of players uh, grew up watching his games, watching his moves, trying to copy them. And uh, you know, you can you can see it everywhere. And uh, guys guys are still still talking about him all the time about his moves and uh, the way he plays, about his mentality. And uh, it's it's just. Amazing the impact he had, and uh, I think he's a uh, his inspiration to most of the guys in the league.